Alright, so when I was downloading uh, Hunter Call of the Wild Wilds, I didn't really get it. There's no good videos up. So I was like, I'm just going to make one. So this is my attempt on making one. So pretty much I'll put it down in the thing for, you can just search up Hunter Call of the Wild Mods. And it'll probably look like this once you've opened it up. You're going to hit popular all time and a bunch of good ones will pop up. I refer, this is my favorite one where it refers. So you're going to hit files. On most of them this is what you're going to do. You're going to hit download. already downloaded it though. So after I did that, I'm going to drag it over here. I'm going to close this down. Well, minus it, whatever you call it. And you're going to open up the WinRAW file. And it's going to have a drop zone in there. You're going to drag it and put it in here. And see, I already have one. And then once you've done that, delete that, close this down. Actually, don't close that down. But now, you're going to go back to it and go to description. And it will give you, like, it says for Steam, go to property, pull a little bit whatever thing. And you're going to copy this. And it says to go to the thing and paste it. So what you're going to have to do that, you're going to hit Steam, open this up, settings, properties. I turn all of these off because it makes it like it works better and you're going to copy and paste it right here include the period at the end and then you're done that and after that make sure you put it in offline mode so it like doesn't sync with the files so once you have it all readied up like that there's one more thing you have to do so this is like the probably like most people have it in this location so you have to delete the population files just so they can reset so if you have like a, like a great one, I don't recommend doing this because then it's going to despawn it. So we're going to hit Documents, Avalanche Studios, hit CO, uh, C02W, or oh, sorry, OW, and you're going to click it and it saves. And so this, ooh, it's going to say 765 and a bunch of numbers. And you're going to click that. Then you'll see a bunch of population files. And just go on and delete all of them. And then once you've done that, it just resets your files, close that up, go into a game, fill load. Alright, I have this you're not gonna see this, this is just like I have shaders on so that it pops up. So this mod only like makes the spawns better. It's not gonna sh like show you what I'm about to show you. I'm gonna make another video on it. It's called Wii Mod, just like easy way to get easy mods. So once you're here, it's like you won't be able to run fast like this. This is Wii mod. The only thing the mod we just downloaded does is increase rare fur types and diamonds. Well, it depends on which version of it you downloaded. So let's make it 9 o'clock. Which you can only change the time on Wii mod. So look, there's some over here. Let's head on over. The reason why there's so many, and well, the reason there's so many is because I have a multi population file. They all are very good, big buff ones. I also need diamonds, but they're all nice deer. So, this is proof that it works, and it's a very good mod. I really recommend using it. Alright, see y'all later. Goodbye.